Hello and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out a new one from the film theaters on Paw Patrol. Well, apparently how Rido, the human of the group, is evil. And I didn't know that the Rido of the show was spelled with a Y. Eh, but okay, I guess that's what you gotta do to make it a name. Let's hop in. Last time I covered Paw Patrol, I convinced you that this kid, Ryder, child genius inventor, was recruiting homeless dogs to use as members of his crew of rescue animals, the Paw Patrol. Why? Well, because mm -hmm. the missions are dangerous, that. dogs are cheaper and more expendable than humans, and stray dogs are the most expendable of all. Now, obviously, Ooh, what Ryder's kind of doing there is again, real but bad, yeah, but the crimes right. of Ryder don't just stop there, my friends. Not only is he putting his dogs into the direct line of danger with little regard to their well-being, oh, he's boy. the one creating those dangerous situations in the first place. What? Get ready, all you good pups, because today we're exposing Ryder for the money-hungry criminal mastermind that he really is. Matt Pat, you need to explain what the hell you're talking about. <clears throat> Hello, Internet! Sorry. Welcome to Film Theory, where they're all dead, pups. Whoa. And they'll be replaced. Cause it's um. just another day around Adventure Bay D -d 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 Dead Patrol <laughs> So it's been a couple months since I last Whoa. covered Paw Patrol Whoa. And due to the blessings of owning a 4 year old Who's discovering media for the first time I am still watching a ton of the show Now if you've somehow missed this gargantuan hit of a Nickelodeon series oldies. The Paw Patrol are a team of 6 puppies Led, led by a boy by named Ryder Mark. Each pup Impossible. has a specialized set of skills, vehicles, and tech That Ryder designs based, based on, on typical emergency services, services. We mm -hmm. have Chase the police dog Marshall the firefighter Sky the aviator Pup, Rubble mm -hmm. the construction dog, Zuma Obvious. for water rescue, and Rocky for garbage collection. Episodes of the show are yep. a pretty classic That's action pretty adventure it. fair. There's a problem that needs solving somewhere in Adventure Bay. The Paw Patrol suit up and say, Ready for action, Ryder, sir! And then they use their and technology, teamwork, and winches, lots and lots of winches, to make uh, sure that everyone winches. winds up safe and happy. Why. Have the farm pigs run away? Call winches, the Paw winches, Patrol. Winches, Is a plane winches, about winches. to crash it's land? So Call the Paw Patrol. Has the villainous mayor of a nearby town discovered an ancient relic in the jungle? that turns him into a monkey call the paw patrol and now the monkey magic power will be mine <laughs> and now he's a monkey yeah as you might be able to tell now that i'm into the late seasons the rescues get real weird don't even oh, yeah, get me started on the mer pups the and the quest to save pup lantis pups with fish tails it must be mer pups what the hell so that's the premise of the show cute simple cut and dry but if you um, look even <laughs> just a little bit past the surface level what? you realize that not everything's peachy keen in adventure bay in our last theory, we concluded that there were pups in the Paw Patrol before the main six of the series. Pups I mean, who died obvious. in the line of duty before being callously replaced. Ryder himself was the mastermind of the whole operation, finding stray and abandoned dogs to recruit for his hmm. dangerous Actually, rescue mission. Knowing know full much? well that if hmm. they die, well... They Hold on, here's something. How much do we actually know about Ryder? We know he's the leader of the group, he's the human, but we don't know much else. Like, we don't even know where Ryder came from. Like, why is he the one in charge of the Paw Patrol and all that? Who started the Paw Patrol? Like, was it the Rydor family or what? There's a theory there. They can just be easily replaced. And on top of all of that, Ryder doesn't even pay the pups with anything but treats. He keeps the considerable amount of money generated from their merch sales, government contracts, and literal yeah, stolen gold do? coins all to himself. Whoa! What's a dog gonna do with money? So, okay, the kid's a bit unethical in the way that he treats his pups. Not He's rich. great, but overall, Ryder and the Paw Patrol are doing far more good than bad, right? They're solving problems. They're saving lives. It's mm -hmm. just what has to be done in the line of duty. It might make Ryder a bit of a jerk, but it doesn't make him evil, right? Well, loyal theorists, as I continue to watch more and more of the show, my suspicions around Ryder have only increased. You see, in oh, later boy. seasons, a lot of the problems plaguing Adventure Bay are caused by the various villains of the show. Mayor Humdinger, Sweetie, hmm. the Kitten Catastrophe crew, but the technology hmm. okay. that they use sure looks an awful lot like the stuff that Ryder builds for the Paw Patrol, hmm. and that's because Ryder is. is doing much worse that's than just strange. taking advantage of disasters and putting innocent pups in danger to make a quick buck. As the series goes on, it seems like Ryder is the one 
creating the dangerous scenarios that are putting everyone at risk. He's hmm. selling many of the villains his technology. He's hoping that they're going to create more trouble for okay. the Paw Patrol to I solve. In short, Ryder is a war profiteer. He's an arms dealer who's now. playing all the sides. And in the process, he's putting both his dogs and his town at risk. Holy. All while he literally sits atop his ivory tower, the lookout. Now, obviously, <laughs> those are big claims, so let's step back and look at proof that Ryder has actually given his tech to the villains, shall we? In season one, we meet Mayor Humdinger, the very competitive elected leader from the nearby town of Foggy Bottom. We're told that he always wins and the competitions the that he enters. Looks like another year on top for the town of Foggy Bottom. Once a cake contest winner, always a cake contest winner. Well, that is oh, until the Paw Patrol rolls into town and suddenly helps Mayor Goodway win all the contests. From hot air ballooning mm. and cake making to cleaning up and basketball. Thank you, wait, Judge. Wait. Of course I couldn't have done um. it without your help, Ryder. After that, Humdinger is just no longer the top dog. Huh. And no matter how That's hard strange. he tries, he just can't seem to win. Goodway is always hmm. getting help from the Paw Patrol, which means that he's always playing catch up. So far, so good. Just a little healthy competition, okay. right? Well, in season two, sick of always losing, Humdinger... I mean, probably not a healthy competition because of the whole... Rido and the pups are continually, continuously helping out their mail. So, if anything, their mail is the one that's always getting the lead way. Like, it's getting a helping push or, or something. Hmm. Pulls out a new strategy, a new set of minions. Presenting the Kitten Catastrophe Crew. Very good at being very bad. The ah, Kitten funny. Catastrophe Crew, who are now tasked with getting a humdinger whatever he wants. They sabotage water towers, they make messes, they steal Ow. giant gold oh, chicken wait. statues. I'm oh. a chicken. But here's the weird thing about the Catastrophe crew. Each kitten directly maps onto a Paw Patrol member. Their I mean, it's pup very packs, obvious. Like, I guess cat packs have the exact same equipment as their Paw Patrol counterparts. Cat mm -hmm. Chase uses a zipline and launcher, just like real Chase. Look Sky has wings, just like the original Sky. Cat Rocky has a claw arm, just it's like the exactly dog Rocky. Them. You get the just idea. Cat. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, well, isn't Humdinger just super tech savvy? Couldn't he have just replicated Ryder's technology rather than it being given to him? And Probably that's not. what I thought at first too. Except for one thing, Humdinger ain't exactly what you'd call a tech whiz. In oh, yeah, season 5, not. episode 17, oh, Hold Hump's on, ad, cut. We're back from the break. The movie monster, Humdinger tries to steal a robot monster, but just doesn't understand its controls. Oh, this remote looks complicated. Maybe <laughs> if I push this button. What do you mean complicated? And in the Paw Patrol movie, his complete <laughs> ignorance of technology Whoa. is what causes the Cloud Catcher to malfunction and destroy Adventure City. Now, those oh, are just two instances, but across the series, there are plenty of examples where he's just not that great with tech. That said, he Mayor Humdinger kind of does try to create several inventions throughout his appearances in the series, and they're just awful in comparison to the stuff that we see Ryder make. For example, in Season 3, right. Episode 3, Pup Save the Soccer Game, Humdinger creates a remote-controlled ball in an attempt to cheat and win a soccer game. And yet, his oh, remote short okay. circuits and breaks, causing the ball to lose oh. control. It gets so bad that oh. the Paw Patrol has to step in and save the day. Now, I don't know about you, but a remote-controlled soccer ball seems just a little bit less complicated than a voice-controlled cat pack with a freely rotating, fully operational robot arm. And yet, yeah. it malfunctions with barely any prompting. And this isn't just a one-time hmm. thing, either. I mean, in Season 4, Episode 2, Pup Save the Cat Show, Humdinger creates a robot cat to win yet another competition. But when it trips and falls onto the floor, it goes haywire, oh, requiring the Paw Patrol's on. intervention. Later How in season four, this time episode 16, see Patrol Pups Save a Shark, he creates a robotic shark that's powered by a wooden contraption that resembles a hamster wheel. Not exactly um, top of the line tech, huh. but more importantly, yeah, the okay. stability that's of that shark is atrocious. Its internal welding gives way and the shark begins to flood after it gets hit. Look this is absolutely not on par that with the quality so of engineering weak. that we see with both the Paw Patrol packs and the Catastrophe Crew packs, which get thrown around a lot during the rescue missions and dastardly plots. Lots. It only makes sense <laughs> if Ryder was the one who created all of the tech. Now, it'd but be one, one of the thing if the Kitten Catastrophe someone. crew were the only bad guys to have identical pup pack tech. At that point, maybe you could just write it off as a coincidence. But the Catastrophe crew are far from the only rogues in the Paw Patrol gallery oh, to use tech eerily so similar to Ryder's inventions. The Rescue Knight series introduces us Rescue to Claw, Knights. an ex-knight oh. and the villain terrorizing the kingdom of Barkingburg. By the time oh, the Paw Patrol face okay, off with this guy, he already has his own personal pup pack with a claw that can grab 
things, functionally and aesthetically hmm. identical to the packs used by the Paw Patrol. Then, okay, in the Mission Paw series, we meet Sweetie, the pet of the Princess of Barkingburg. Unlike oh. what her name would suggest, Sweetie hmm. is anything but. Well, okay. She's the biggest oh. cause of trouble in the Mission Paw series, with yeah, crimes sure ranging known. from theft to kidnapping. Now, all Damn. of this is possible only because of her vehicle and her pup pack, complete with a pincer, vacuum, and even a selfie stick. Guess you gotta keep your followers what? up to date on that hashtag villain life. And once again, all of it is strikingly stick. similar to the designs that Ryder has for the Paw Patrol. In fact, when Sweetie suits up, her attire matches the aesthetics of the Mission Paw outfits that the Paw Patrol is wearing, hmm. mostly black okay, with colored that. accents. This actually has to be one of the biggest pieces of evidence towards Sweetie's gear being a Ryder original creation. See, this isn't a case of Sweetie hmm. seeing the Paw Patrol's look and liking it enough to copy it, or Ryder seeing Sweetie and digging her outfit to make it into a Paw Patrol uniform. No, Sweetie puts this outfit on before any of the Paw Patrol pups puts theirs on, and the hmm. Paw Patrol suit up before Ryder sees Sweetie in the gear. This cannot be a coincidence. They have to have been made by the same person. But okay, maybe this sort of hmm. technology is just super common in the Paw Patrol universe. Maybe pup packs are something that you could just that order maybe. from your well, local Best Buy. But sense. again, that's not the case. As we called out in our last theory, the Paw Patrol are relative unknowns in this world. They're only becoming True. more well-known as the series progresses because of their daring rescues. Mm -hmm. Rescue dogs and technology like for cats is not the something movie, that exists normally in out. this universe. It is specifically being built by one guy, Ryder. All right, Matt Pata here wait. is saying, sure, the tech used by... Wait, wait, what if it's not Ryder that's building it, but not a company that he, uh, like, controls and owns or something? And, like, maybe that company is what is actually making the packs and selling them. And they're just selling it because, hey, you sell the product. You don't keep the product and only sell to one person. That could be something. Because uh, have we seen Ryder actually make the packs? No, I don't think we have. Sweetie, Claw, and the Kitten Catastrophe crew are similar to the Paw Patrols, but maybe that's just how technology looks in this universe. That would be a fantastic explanation for what we're seeing here. A lot of times, the art direction of a show, especially an animated show, can end up with characters and technology designs that look samey. And while the Paw Patrol True. series definitely has an art style that it sticks to, it also goes out of its way to show that different technologies made by different people look different, <laughs> different compared different, to the Paw Patrol's pup packs. We already <laughs> pointed out how different and almost primitive Humdinger's tech looks compared to riders, but oh, there are other four? examples throughout Weak. the series. For example, the Rough Rough Pack are a group of villainous biker dogs featured in the Moto Pup series, hmm. and its three members all have pup okay. packs as well. But their packs are way different from the ones that we know that Ryder makes. Every pack that we've seen up to this point looks hmm. very similar. They're made with clean, cylindrical, or cuboidal pieces, and their joints are easy to move. Plus, it's they're all colored like and feature pack. iconography that matches the pup or kitten that they were made for. The Rough Rough mm -hmm. Pack's gear, however, looks like it was made with limited time and resources. These packs are older, rusty, they're made using scrap metal. The joints are barely held together with screws like and bolts. This suggests design. that they were made by Gasket, who we know is an amateur inventor. Okay, here it is, the first official rough Oh, rough hold on. We have another ad. Okay. And we're back from the break. So clearly the show's art style cares enough to indicate when technology is made by other inventors. The Rough Rough Pack scrapyard inventions, Humdinger's early primitive tech. But the Catastrophe crew? Sweetie? There's no other way to explain it. It had to have come from Ryder. So Ryder hmm. is clearly designing the tech that villains like Humdinger and Sweetie wind up using throughout the series, but why? Maybe. It doesn't necessarily seem like a great business model to just be giving your tech away. But just look at what happens once these villains get a hold of it. In season one, the pup's hmm. rescues can honestly seem pretty trivial. They help the farmers out during yeah, the fall festival, they gather up some up, lost up, bunnies, up. they help Mayor Goodway win a few competitions, and in rare cases, they fight the occasional fire. It's not exactly <laughs> the high stakes rescues that Ryder was hoping for when he started the Paw Patrol to make cash off of disasters. Was but then the look at the started? escalation. By season 7, they're being hired out by Whoa. royalty to protect the crown jewels as private bodyguards. They're being asked by Mayor Goodway to save stolen Ferris wheels, crimes That's that are only cool. made possible thanks to his technology getting in the hands of the show's villains. What is this adorable yet strangely suspicious kitten? Oh. Strangely suspicious. You, really? Really? I have nothing else to say. Ryder is clearly a smart kid and a shrewd businessman, and he takes his opportunities hmm. where he sees them. Take Humdinger, for instance. Clearly, the competition between the towns was important to him, and as See time goes on, one. he gets more and more discouraged as he loses because of the Paw Patrol, to the point where he's suddenly willing to cheat in a way that he never did before. Think about it. I in mean, season one, we never see Humdinger boss. do anything shady or illegal. He's just a really competitive guy from a nearby city. And yet, in season two, we immediately see Humdinger playing dirty, as well as ignoring both laws and the 
safety of others as he destroys uh -oh. and vandalizes property. What's changed? One thing, he now has his own minions in the Kitten Catastrophe crew. Minions outfitted with Ryder's tech. Ryder saw the competitiveness hmm, in Humdinger and exploited it. He created a villain in Humdinger and the Catastrophe crew to escalate the problems that the Paw Patrol could respond to. Suddenly, they're not a just tracking down misidentified story. cows in the snow, they're stopping bona fide bad guys. Ryder can suddenly charge more for it. He can get more publicity for it. He's now I'll building an that. empire for both his exploited rescue pups and the technology that allows this stuff to happen. But it doesn't I'm stop there, friends. Ryder expands his little racket beyond Adventure Bay and even Adventure City. He seeks out new locations like Barking Bird, where he can give other misguided pups some of his tech. He creates yep. new villains, and therefore new disasters on a scale that even he couldn't have dreamed Whoa. of before. Instead okay, of a vehicle, kind of Claw dangerous. uses his pup pack to find a magical dragon tooth that lets him control a real, actual dragon, which he then directs Neat. onto the people and city of Barking Bird. When the Paw Patrol avert that disaster, Ryder couldn't ask for better publicity. Brave pups led by genius boy save city from dragons. With achievements like that under his belt, just like that, Ryder has suddenly made himself a valuable new client for life <laughs> in the Princess of Barking Bird. But worst of okay. all, the kid doesn't even bother to make sure that the bad guys see proper justice. He isn't taking the steps required to prevent <laughs> these Probably from happening not. in the future. Sure, Sweetie is often put in the proverbial doghouse when she's caught, but she's out again by the very next episode. And a humdinger yep, the kid catastrophe crew? Ryder doesn't even bother to arrest them when they're caught red-handed. Instead, they're just Can slapped with the catchphrase, oh, that troublesome mayor, before getting off scot-free, ready to wreak more <laughs> havoc in the very next episode. Ryder is the city's law enforcement here. Arresting Wait, criminals would fall under his jurisdiction. But I don't know actual cops in the city. Because that would be bad for business. One thing's clear, Ryder is no hero. Not only does he put hmm. the lives of his pups into constant danger with little regard for whether they live or die in the disasters they face, but he's responsible I mean, for he creating those them, disasters in the much. first place. In his greed, Ryder encourages these misguided souls to cheat and commit crimes in order to drive up business for himself, strengthening his empire as it spreads from city to city. Ryder offers them advanced tech hmm. to escalate their crimes to new heights and then doesn't apprehend them to prevent future crimes. Ryder is the Paw Patrol's worst enemy, the true villain of this that. franchise sitting pretty atop his Scrooge McDuckian pile of cash <laughs> while he puts the lives of both his pups and innocent people hmm. on the line. Sure, they all may be good pups, but Ryder, but he's, he's bad, bad to the bone. Man. But hey, that's just a theory. A film theory. And cut. Well, I have to say, that is definitely an interesting theory. An interesting way of really just thinking about it at all. Rydal somehow selling his technology and being able to mass produce it to create other villains for the pups to, well, have to face. It's understandable, interesting, and definitely unique. So, I like this theory. Well, anyway, that's all I gotta say. So, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original videos. So remember to support the original creator and all they do, and I'll see all of you folks next time. Peace out.